Serious question. Where is all the right-wing violence? Where are all the right-wing extremists? The news covers right-wing extremism very aggressively. If any sort of hate incident of any kind whatsoever happens, you can be guaranteed that The Atlantic, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and several other publications will cover it. And not only will they cover it, but they will cover it aggressively and repeatedly. It will be a week-long news cycle. Check out this one guy somewhere that performed right-wing hate violence bad thing. Check out this race hoax at a college that we don't know is a hoax yet. That is clearly right-wing violence. Oh, it's right-wing hate. All the Nazis out there, all the fascists out there, look at all the fascists, except it's always either a hoax or not there. Where, where are the articles? Where's all the coverage? Where are all the right-wing extremists? And here's another good question. Why is it that Memphis, Tennessee, as of the day of this recording, why are they locking down state of emergency? Oh, some police officers, which were all black, apparently had a bad incident with a black person. Ergo, we're going to have riots. We're going to have Black Lives Matter and Antifa riots. State of emergency. Board up your windows. Lock everything up in preparation for Antifa and Black Lives Matter leftist groups coming out and protesting. Where are the right-wing groups protesting? Where are the right-wing groups protesting in such a way that a state of emergency must be declared, that your businesses must board up your windows to be safe, that everyone is in fear of violence, being harmed, having their lives destroyed? Where is it? I ask this sincerely. I don't see it. Because if it was out there, how could I not see it? How is it possible that I could somehow miss it? After all, when Bubba Wallace got the noose, oh wait, I'm sorry, that was a garage door pull, put in his bay, I mean, it was already there. The FBI came out, it was a big hullabaloo about nothing. Nothing actually happened. When Jussie Smollett, when he claimed that two Trump supporters beat him up and said, this is MAGA country, and it turned out it was actually a couple of Nigerian guys he hired to do it. It turned out to be nothing, but the whole time, all we heard about was, oh, look at this awful right-wing hate incident. So if you exclude the hate incidences that turn out to be hoaxes perpetrated by the people who need the hate so that they can get clout, where is it? Where are the right-wing riots? Where is the right-wing violence? Granted, right-wingers can sometimes say some very stupid things. Some right-wingers have some very stupid ideas. There are some really crazy people on all political sides. But the right-wing doesn't seem to be violent the way that the left-wing does. Oh my god, the left-wing is rioting, board everything up and declare a state of emergency. Oh my god, the right-wing is protesting. Here's a hundred people who walk around with guns and flags and nobody dies and nothing gets destroyed. Oh, but Antifa shows up and starts attacking them. Oh, look at all this right-wing violence. That's like what happened in Charlottesville. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the car incident. I'm talking about all of the rest of that Unite the Right crap. Okay, there were some reprehensible people there on both sides, yes. But, did the right wing show up and start attacking people? No. The right wing showed up, the left wing showed up to attack them, the right counterattacked. Why is it always leftists that are performing the violence and the destruction? Why is it that the right wing gets blamed for insurrection that never really happened? But when left-wing Antifa lunatics literally bomb a courthouse, a federal courthouse, that's not insurrection. We're not trying to blow up the government, literally. No, somehow that's not insurrection in all of these major media publications. But the right-wing, 
Oh, the right wing showed up. The police waved them in. There was no insurrection on January 6th. But you can bet that there will continue to be coverage claiming that for years to come. Whereas when Antifa tries to blow up and burn down courthouses and churches that are federal property. Oh, well, we have a serious problem in this country with leftist lunacy. There are way too many people on the left-hand side of the political spectrum that seem to think it's perfectly fine to harm people, destroy property, steal, and engage in general criminality. There are no bad tactics, only bad targets. And the biggest problem with libertarians, centrists, and right-wingers is that they adhere to their principles so dutifully. Perhaps it's time that there is just a little bit of pushback whenever these people get violent. Perhaps it's time that when the Antifa rioters show up, they get encircled by people who are armed that say, no, you will not behave this way in my country. But I'm not advocating for that. You do what you think fits with your principles. And remember that extraordinary times perhaps do require extraordinary circumstances. But I'm sick of this narrative that the right wing is the source of all of the hate violence and disgust in this country when the only people doing it, even when it's right-wing hate, right-wing violence, are always on the left. When one side is committing all of the crimes and doing all of the bad things, you don't get to stand back and go, oh, well, everybody, there's bad people on both sides, or only the right wing is, but no, no, that is unacceptable. One side is the problem. One side needs to be dealt with. Deal with it. I'm Jody Bruce on politics. Thanks for watching. And yes, I have an adulting shirt and a libertarian flag in the background again. Yes, it's hilarious. I might just make this my uniform. Bye.